Everybody dance, you know the markets, you know the markets, legendary party full of happiness, you know the markets, you know the markets, my youth and good nation are in every coma flitz, you know the markets, you know the markets, new dance, I will mash up the place, you know the markets, this dance I take over this place, them, when you see the legendary dancers who no greet them, mad far right, show them off it to markets, which will feed them, puppy teach them, I be selector, play the music louder, where did that call on we did wash it powder. Them don't know we have a dance member. What you say? This dance is out of order. You know the markets. You know the markets. Everybody party. Everybody dance. You know the markets. You know the markets. Legendary party full of happiness. You know the markets. You know the markets. My youth and good nation are in every coma flitz. You know the markets. You know the markets. New dance. I go mash up the place. You know the markets. This dance is out of order. Teach it to your sister. Teach it to your brother. It's not like the Willy Bounce, this dance is harder. No, you can't teach it to your mother. The Dan Kaloni sister, that dance a bada. Everybody do it. Mad for I bogle, she na me data. Big up poppy from Tanza. No dance, I take over Zimbabwe. No dance, I take over the place. No dance, I take over Zimbabwe. This dance, I go mash up the place. No dance, I take over Zimbabwe. You want to see everybody do it. We used to bust a dancing at the club for fun, but now we have to take it to the street. You know the markets, you know the markets. Everybody party, everybody dance. You know the markets, you know the markets. Legendary party, full of happiness. You know the markets. You know the markets, my youth and good nation are in every coma flitz. You know the markets, you know the markets. New dance, I go mash up the place. You know the markets. This dance I take over this place, them. When you see the legendary dancers who no greet them, mad for right, show them off it to markets with your feet, them. Poppy teach them, I be selector, play the music louder. Where did that call on G? We did washing powder. Them don't know we have a dance, them but what you say? This dance is out of order. You know the markets. You know the markets, everybody party, everybody dance. You know the markets, you know the markets, legendary party full of happiness. You know the markets, you know the markets, in my youth, a good nation are in every coma flitz. You know the markets, you know the markets, new dance. You know the markets, you know the markets, legendary party full of happiness. You know the markets, you know the markets, in my youth, a good nation are in every coma flitz. You know the markets, you know the markets, new dance. Dance, I go mash up the place. You know the markets. This dance I take over this place. Them when you see the legendary dancers who no greet them. Mad for right, show them off it to markets with your feet. Them poppy teach them. I be selector, play the music louder. Where did that call on G? We did washing powder. Them don't know we have a dance. Them but what you say? This dance is out of order. You know the markets. You know the markets. Everybody party, everybody dance. You know the markets. You know the markets. Legendary party. Full of happiness. You know the markets. You know the markets. In my youth, a good nation are in every coma flitz. You know the markets. You know the markets. New dance. I go mash up the place. Hey, sunshine, do the dance. Everybody know. Do the dance. Merciless Zimbabwe. Do the dance. Man for Joe. Let me see you do the dance. Say one, get mad. Do the dance. Everybody, everybody do the dance. 20 minutes before the 2 p.m. is our time right now. And welcome to Center Stage right here on Power FM Zimbabwe. I'm really excited about today's show. Uh, why? Because this is one of the hmm, one of the greatest presenters to ever work on Power FM Zimbabwe. And uh, you all know him very, very well. You're call, you guys call him Smiley. But uh, for some of us who managed to grow up with him, Smiley, I would it to know him. But uh, he's in the studio this afternoon on Center Stage. Yay! What a good 
Sadaru! Put it on speaker. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna cry now. So, you guys yeah. need to know, Smiley made uh, one of our interns cry. Like, she literally walked into the studio with tears rolling down her face because she is such a huge Smiley fan. And. Uh, <laughs> Things like this have been happening for a while. Did you did you think you'd still have that reaction from people? Even when you got here, you said a lot of people were reacting to Smiley. Smiley. Yeah. Did you think you'd still have that, uh, get that reaction from people? I didn't really think so because it's been like two years. I'm like, ah, uh, maybe people, some people have forgotten about me. Like literally when I was walking in town, I had my hoodie on and my cap and my glasses. But still people noticed me. Smiley, Wagwan, where have you Aww. been? And things like that. And yeah, it makes me feel good that people still remember me, you know. And welcome back to Zimbabwe. Yeah. It's, it's been how long since your last year? Two years ago was the last time. I left Zimbabwe two years ago. Right. Yeah. And uh, when you left two years ago, you, you went to live where? I went to South Africa first. Uh-huh. I stayed in South Africa for about a few months. And then um, left and went to Dubai. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so and that's where I've been based currently in Dubai. And it looks like Dubai is treating you well. Look at you. You, you know, you, 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 yeah, Thank and you. Uh, so you know, Smiley, you've been around for a very long time, especially yeah. in Zimbabwe. And I was having a conversation yesterday, and I was telling somebody that do you realize that when it comes to first generation of uh, the the radio presenters who pushed music, dance or music on radio, you cannot talk about it without mentioning the likes of Smiley, and then there's others, of course, from other stations who won't yeah, mention. Yeah. But you are one. Of, you are actually the person who made sure that dancehall music started being heard on radio. Definitely, definitely. And, and these are facts. Please just give these facts to people out there who might not know. Yeah, in case you don't know, yeah, man, I was one of the first people to start playing Zim Dancehall for radio, Power FM, Ting Name, the Dancer Ignition Party. Yeah, man, still got memories of that. And um, I still miss it, though. But now I'm, I'm actually glad that Zim Dancehall is now big, as big as it is, because when we started, it wasn't that big. Mm-hmm. I was just trying to push it, get it out there. People still were complaining, like, what you, what is this you're playing? Those who are used to, like, proper reggae and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, play us some Beanie Man, play us some... We don't want to hear these boys. And then until they started getting used to them, mm-hmm. Pazo Budo and our free man and our say colors and thing, that's when people started getting the, the hang of it. And started to appreciate. Started to appreciate it because I kept on playing it until it, it, it got to their ears, mm-hmm. until they just got fed up and said, okay, okay, let's just listen to what this guy's trying to push. Mm-hmm. And then until that, until then, and... Um, it hasn't stopped yet. All right, so let's yeah. <clears throat> let's rewind. Let's rewind way back and start off where this whole started. Uh, this yeah. whole dancehall and the reggae, the where your blood changed color <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> from being okay. red and it's now uh, what is what are the colors? Gold and red, green. red, gold, and green. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. So, uh, when did you start liking and showing appreciation to reggae music? Um, I think when I was about eighteen. That's the first time I got like the the Buju. It was a tape, mm-hmm. Buju Banton, Inner Heights. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what? I fell in love with Buju Banton. Mm-hmm. I was listening to it every single day, until I even knew the words to everything. The new I knew the words, and then when um later on that year, that's when I went to England. Mm-hmm. And the first thing I landed in Manchester. The first concert I went to was actually a Buju concert, and I couldn't wow. believe it. Like the person I was idolizing was right in front of me. You know what I mean? Performing because mm-hmm. I was like right in the front and I could see him. I actually bigged him up, Buju performing and everything. No way. I'm yeah, jealous. Man, I'm definitely, jealous. definitely. Uh-huh. And the place I was staying in um, in Manchester is called Moss Side. A lot of like Jamaicans, that's where they were staying. Mm-hmm. A lot of Jamaicans. We were like uh, the only few Africans there, but they loved, there's something about Africa they loved. So when I introduced myself, I'm African. Oh, African man, African man. Mm-hmm. So there was this corner, this, this shop that used to sell music. So every week, I would use like the money from my, from because we used to get paid weekly when I was working there. Mm-hmm. So all the money I used to like put aside enough to buy about three or four later CDs. So from that time and hang around with Jamaicans, I started catching the lingos. I started loving the music, mm-hmm. and then when I just came back here, I just kept on with the vibe. 
mm-hmm. from from what I learned in the UK. Uh, and yeah. and you you spend a, you you've actually said that uh, you spend a lot of time with Jamaicans, the real yeah, uh, Rastafari. Yeah, man. Quite a Madrid rock. No, nah, real, <laughs> real, real, real things. And, and this is something that I know, but maybe people don't know, that you actually yeah. did got, get to stay in the same uh, flat with them. Man, yeah, man. yeah, man. Yeah, Can man. Can you tell yeah, us man. about the, the, the way of life of real Rastafaris? Real Rastafaris, like, you know, there's some that don't eat meat at all. And then there's some who eat, like, they, they, they say we can eat fish. Mm-hmm. They can say they eat fish. But there's some who say no, no meat, no, absolutely nothing. Some don't wow. even eat cooking oil. Really? Yeah, they don't even fry. They just they just boil the food, and then they add the the spices, spices and roots and stuff. They got the you know, the times and stuff, the times and the, the rosemary, the rosemary and uh-huh. stuff. Yeah, that's what they used to just add. But it tasted amazing. And then they put lemon. Lemon will represent the salt because they don't put a lot of salt. Some uh-huh. of them, so they put a lot of lemon. Lemon will represent the salt. So that's how I learned that the the eating habits, and of course the other thing, music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we used to go to this dancehall club called the West, the Great Western. Mm-hmm. They had like reggae nights on on Thursdays. It was strictly reggae, mm-hmm. no dance or no nothing. Mm-hmm. Strictly reggae on Thursday nights. So the the Jamaicans would take me there. Oh, listen to reggae music, man. New dancehall people, ting ting ting. ting. Mm-hmm. So we go to listen to reggae music, and then on Friday was the dancehall night. They used to have like dancehall clashes and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's how I caught the lingos, and I was like, okay, like proper hardcore when they are proper assaulting each other. Yeah. One DJ like they're facing each other like uh-huh. in a ring. Uh-huh. So one is in front, with the front of each other, and attacking each other. Words. Really? Yeah, it's man. like a battle. It's in like a proper, they call it a battle. yeah, yeah, like a hip hop battle, but uh-huh. here it's dancehall. They first attack each other with words, and then they play a song to go with what, they, what they've just said. Like they say, that okay. That must have been serious fire. It was mad. Uh-huh. Trust me, they had to have a ref to just calm things down because some of them would get like physical violent. And, and violent, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. So. All right. So when, when you talk about uh, when you talk about your understanding of dancehall of all things reggae, yeah. you lived it. You actually got to experience it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And uh, so this is the thing. Um, Patois, we do have a lot of uh, artists in Zimbabwe who, uh. <laughs> I don't want to say they pretend, but they speak in quotes, speak yeah, yeah, yeah. Patois. Yeah. And it's really not, is this Patois, is it a, a language that has to be with Zim dancehall for you to be identified as dancehall? Or it's 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 just something that Shatrungo uh, Hakira? No, it's something, I think that if with Zim dancehall, just speak with what you're comfortable with. Mm-hmm. Just because just because you you're trying to speak patois and you really can't does not make you zim dancer. Mm-hmm. You can speak like in genre, it's fine. Just speak the way you're comfortable with it. Mm-hmm. But me with the fact that I've actually lived and stayed with people on Tora Patwa, I can even talk to Jamaicans. It's easy for me. This is not a lie because yeah. when uh, was it Mavado that came through? It, yes, was, it was and busy signal as well. It was busy signal yeah, it was actually. Busy signal as well. And then yeah. we, we when we, we were at the airport and mm. I was actually with boss lady and Smiley and uh, Smiley started talking to busy. So got to busy. I got to feel long. They were do. Yeah. And then you rode with this team. Yeah, man. Uh-huh. On the same bus. Even in Dubai, they think I'm actually Jamaican. Really? Yeah, man. Hi, hi. Are you Jamaican? No, 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 man. I'm from Zimbabwe. <laughs> Because I'm proud of where I come from and I have to let them know where we come from. Mm-hmm. But just because I got a little Patwa or Jamaican accent in me mm-hmm. does not le- does not make me less African. So, yeah. So Lots of people thing. are showing you so much love on uh, so- social media. A few days, Nyama Jiwa, uh, you're showing love to Smiley. Can we please have my love name and likes for Smiley here? Inonzi Magates, Hayley T is also there. Let's, uh, let's see. Jar Spice, Arguti, this guy is amazing. Kudzi, uh, Kiara, Manyoa, and oh my gosh, he's alive. Smiley, <laughs> <laughs> did you go off the grid? I went off the grid. That's why, you know, because I stopped even making music like... I stopped making music. I just, I guess, I just wanted to start afresh. Because mm-hmm. when I went to South Africa, I started working at Baseline with with Jassy. Mm-hmm. He's the one who just said, "You know what, Smiley? Since you're here, you can you can just come in and hype up the dance mm-hmm. before I come in. Because mm-hmm. I know you. I know what you can do." Mm-hmm. So I started working with Jassy the Baseline. I used to open up the dance until, uh, and then you'd come in later. Mm-hmm. So then my brother, fi- finally, my brother who's in Dubai right now, Farai, he's the one who said, "You know what? Nobody knows." about this culture, this dance culture in Dubai. It's like fresh and new. Mm-hmm. Come, let's introduce it. The first time I got there, the first show, like only the Zimbabweans who came through and mm-hmm. the Africans knew what was going on. Mm-hmm. But others like Nigerians, because Nigerians are used to, you know, Afrobeats. Afro yes. Afro 
So mostly Afrobeats is the in thing there. Mm-hmm. It's just Afrobeats. So the dancehall thing and me talking, they kept on saying, who's this guy talking in between songs? <laughs> that's what they called <laughs> it. Today, <laughs> today, let the song play, let the song play. But that's not how it works in dancehall culture. You know what I mean? That's yeah. not how it works. But now they're so used to it that even if I... If I'm not there, they ask mm-hmm. about me. Go, oh, where's that guy? Mm-hmm. Where's the hype man? Hype man? Where's the hype man? Because I'm the one who makes uh, the dance go crazy. That I'm is the true. One. No yeah. one does that. <laughs> Smiley's got the energy for days. <laughs> All right. So, Smiley, before we move on to D- Dubai, let's just finish with our history lesson, right? Uh, so, we, we 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 lived in in the UK and then yeah. we came back to Zimbabwe. Yeah. Uh, uh, how old were you when you came back to Zimbabwe? Or oh, what year did you come back to Zimbabwe? Oh, when was it? I was in 2000 and. 2007, 2008, don't mm-hmm. remember though. 2007, mm-hmm. 2008, I think, around that time. Yeah. yeah. And then Urban Grooves was there, but Urban it was Grooves dying was down. There. Yeah, man. And of course, in Urban Grooves, it was it was a mixture, mm. uh, 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 them coming together, movement of different genres coming together under the banner of Urban Grooves. Yeah, man. So it was dying down, and then different people were coming out and trying to find their feet. You had your Winky D, Sniper Storm, you yeah, yeah, yeah. and so forth. So you got here, there was no real, really, it wasn't defined. Zim Danzo was not really defined. It was defined. not defined then. So what happened when you got Gotcha. When I got here, well, I knew the I knew Winky D because even when I was in England, Winky D and Sniper Storm and them, mm-hmm. those are the dancer artists we knew when we were in England mm-hmm. before I came back here. The potatoes, the yeah, major the potato, E's. major E, mm-hmm. those are the ones. But even, it was called Mangoma, got mm, My days I got Mangoma. Right. Yeah, I was actually working with Jusa and them back there, so my days it was called Mangoma. So when I got here, it wasn't really, it wasn't really all that. It doesn't have that hype. Mm-hmm. So then I went to. In Marondira. I went to live in Marondira. I opened up my own studio there. Mm-hmm. I started recording recording artists who also do who were also doing dancehall in Marondira, but they weren't recognized and they didn't have the platform. But I liked their style. Mm-hmm. And I'd come with lots of beats and rhythms from Juice and them. I was like, you guys that got rhythms, I like your style, come, let's do something. Mm-hmm. And I started recording these youths. So actually in Marondira I was the, I was the first person to record like five, six artists on one rhythm. Right. That's how the rhythm thing culture started in Marondira. Right. Yeah. And then that rhythm started, the way it spread. <clears throat> and I actually did a mix for it with my own voiceover. Mm-hmm. Doing the, hey, up next, we got this coming up. And all that, that mix went, it went, it was crazy. Mm-hmm. And then that's when I was like, you know what? Moved here, Harare. Mm-hmm. And then that's when we started the, with, with Judgment Yard and them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was before I even started playing on radio and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then we started with Judgment Yard. Um, it was Mad Sundays uh, when, was still, when was still when still in Warren Park. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Yes, I remember in Warren when Park. We were still in Warren Park. We were with um, King Labash was there as well during days. So we used to do the early set, and mm-hmm. then King Labash would come after. And I don't, I forgot who the other selector was. Who was with King Labash? But um, but anyway, mm-hmm. we used to start there. So we used to do that same culture that. Um, like when I came here, the culture with art with MC and DJ, mm-hmm. it was like the MC and the DJ would always be behind, behind the DJ box. Mm-hmm. So the the MC was always next to the DJ behind the DJ box. Mm-hmm. But I'm the one who, st- who said, you know what? One day I don't know what what came over me. One day I was like, you know what? Let me just go to the front. I can't just be hanging back here. It was just boring. You don't yeah. touch you with with the crowd. Yeah, You're man. Not connecting with yeah, the crowd. Man. Yeah, man. So one day I just went. You know what? Let me go. I'll be in the front. Mm-hmm. DJ, a communicator, just come here and tell you which tune to play, and mm. I go back, start hyping the crowd, and from there, that culture also built in the dance hall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what MC started doing, and from then, that's when it caught on. And then it yeah. became a big boom. It, it came a big boom. Right. Now, ev- almost every MC is doing it now. All right. Yeah, man. So we can safely say that Smiley is the one who brought this idea on. Anyone who dares to dispute this? I guess so. Yeah, man. <laughs> Please come through with your facts and figures. Uh, because at the end of the day, you deserve your street cred, yeah? Yeah, man. We don't want to, we don't want to sound bossy, but yeah, man. I'll, I'll you say are a humble yeah, guy. Man. You yeah, are man. a humble guy. I'll do it for you. And uh, I'll be your PR man. But anyway, uh, so then uh, you started doing this. It became big from Mad Sundays uh, yeah, man. in Warren Park. Mm. You then moved over to Greendale. And then we moved over to Greendale uh-huh. and continued that vibe. And then Greendale, that's when it just went... It just went crazy mm-hmm. from Greendale. That's when people started um, getting into the whole dancehall culture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, it was. It just went crazy when we went to Red for, uh, Greendale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, it just got crazy then. And then it, it, it became a big boom. So it when did we come on radio? Um, radio. 
when was it again was it 2012 or so mm, i don't um, think 2012 i joined 2012 it must i, I can well, use you were you, were you there you came after me right yes i okay, came after so, you so i'll say 20 2010 or 20 yeah 2010 it, yes. safely say 2010 <laughs> yeah man it. yeah man <laughs> all right 20, yeah FM, that was the only urban yeah, youth, that radio, was station. The only youth, uh, radio station. And then you yeah. came on radio, and there's a sound that was playing on radio. There's a style that was playing on radio. Yeah. Zim dancehall and reggae were not so much pronounced. Even if they was played, it was yeah. always reggae, yeah. not zim dancehall. So reggae. But for you, what did you get to do? This is you. You're on air. What happened now? Uh, first, when I started, um, I was like a co-host. Mm-hmm. I was. I used to just say, um, like, talk about the background of the artists. Like, this song is from. Um, Richie Spice, Richie Spice came from this, this, there, there, and just talk about the background of the artist. Mm-hmm. That's all I used to do as a co-host. Mm-hmm. And then one day, um, the Ms. Kudzima Rudza was like, you know what, Smiley, mm-hmm. today you're on your own, but we're going to give you one hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those days it was one hour, it wasn't yet three hours. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, cool, one hour, how can I divide this hour? So I divided it, okay, one hour I'll do reggae, the mm-hmm. other hour dance but I was still playing international then. Mm-hmm. International, I did it. He enjoyed it. He's like, all right, we're going to extend your show a little bit. We're going to make it three hours. Mm-hmm. What do you, you want to do here with this th- in these three hours? That's when I started looking for content. Right. Zim dance. I was like, you know what? Because it kept on mentioning that you also need to play. You also, there's a lot of reggae that, that that's out there. But he was mentioning the likes of Potato. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, oh, get those ones and then play them. But I was like, you know what? <laughs> yeah. Let me go around and look. That's when I started going around places looking for content mm-hmm. linking up with producers mm-hmm. and then before before i knew it i had even more content to like hold a two hour slot right. just with zim danzo and then the last hour that's when i'll just say okay last hour let's just do international mm-hmm. yeah and what was the show called uh dancehall ignition party why did you decide on calling it the dancehall ignition party actually in our real life in our real life to be honest uh robert joao helped me come up with that name all right he's like you know you're starting something you're it's ign- ignition mm-hmm. you're starting so- yeah it. i'm like you're starting something you're mm-hmm. igniting it so call it just call it the ignition party mm-hmm. i was like okay let me just roll with that and it became a big and boom. it became a big boom right yeah man so while we're still there on the early stages usadaro where did usadaro come from sadaro came from the ghetto <laughs> Mbari. <laughs> How? Yeah, in our real life, um, this is what happened. Um, I was just hanging with my dancers. You know, my dancers, like, I like um, the likes of Sizzler. Those days were Sizzler, Mad Farai, and my selectors, Mad Vancho, Zaiwan, mm-hmm. were at this house mm-hmm. just listening to music. Mm-hmm. We had brought the speaker out and everything. Mm-hmm. So we're just listening. I think Mad Vancho and Zaiwan had some new, fresh dancers they wanted to play for me. Mm-hmm. So I started playing it. And then I think it was either Sizzle or Matt Farrell. I was like, yeah, big tune, oh, Sadaro, Sadaro. <laughs> and then I, kind of, I just liked it from then. I was like, ah, you know what, this is bad. Uh, this is bad. So yes. I just kept on saying it, kept on saying it, kept on singing it. Until Sadaro, it on. Sadaro. Sadaro. <laughs> <laughs> and like, uh, till it caught on. Uh-huh. And then, yeah, from then, it was just Sadaro. That was my catchphrase. Right. Yeah. And then now, of course, Zim Downshall to the world. Smiley, yeah, you are known for pushing that uh, phrase, the yeah, catchphrase. Man. Yeah, man. But did you start it? I started with, no, actually, Ike Fresh. I started with Ike Fresh. Mm-hmm. Ike Fresh is the one who brought it to my ears, and I'm the one who brought it to the people. Right. Yeah. So both of you did it. Both of us did it. Uh-huh. I, I can't give myself credit for that one, because I heard Ike Fresh doing the Zim dance all to the world. Mm-hmm. So that, and I actually, he actually gave me a, gave me a jingle, like a Zim dance all to the world jingle. Mm-hmm. And I started playing that Zim dance all to the world jingle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So every time I would play Zim dance all, mm-hmm. I would use that jingle, and I will use that phrase, like, you know, you see right now, Mm-hmm. Right now, at the time for Zim Dancehall, we take it to the world. Zim Dancehall to the world. Wow! So that's what I used to say that every time I played. So we're gonna need some fire. Em- we're gonna need some fire emojis for Smiley. Hit us up and tell us your name, and then we'll also give you some shout outs. Uh, we got a message that came through from. Okay, they didn't tell us the name, but they said the artist that was with Labash at Mad Sunday was the late Daddy Distress. Yeah, it was Daddy Distress and another selector fires. Um, Fire, fire corner, fire corner, yeah, right. yeah. Daddy distress and fire corner. Right. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Bless up. But they didn't tell us their name. But it's all good. We're gonna make way for the news at two p.m. This is center stage. When we come back, we go deeper, and then we get to ask Smiley about his personal life, why he left radio, why he left Zimbabwe, and how he is doing in the Dubai. So don't go anywhere.
the news at two with Valerie Piano. President Emerson Nangagwa has commended the implementation of Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, which are in tandem with Vision 2030. President Nangagwa said this when he officially opened the 6th Africa Regional Forum on Sustainable Development Goals in Victoria Falls today. The president also said to ensure that the SDGs are successfully impl implemented, government has directed some ministries like Public Service, Lab and Social Welfare, the Ministry of Health and Child Care, and that of Lands, Agriculture, Water, Climate and Rural Resettlement, among others, to coordinate frameworks that will cascade it to grassroots level. He said this will ensure that provinces plan and implement SDGs using locally available resources. The president and also lamented the impact of illegally imposed sanctions which impede on the speed at which the SDGs are implemented. The 2020 Africa Regional Forum on Sustainable Development Goals is being held under the theme 2020 to 2030, a decade to deliver a transformed and prosperous Africa through the 2030 Agenda and Agenda 2063. Three non-governmental organizations have availed 500,000 United States dollars for disaster preparedness in Chimanimani and Chipinga districts. The Civil Protection Department, in partnership with the three international organizations, launched the Disaster Risk Reduction Program after a survey revealed that many people are not aware of safety and prevention measures in the event of a natural disaster. Officially launching the program at St. Charles Luanga Secondary School in Chimanimani yesterday, Manikal and Provincial Development Coordinator Mr. Edgar Zesayenza encouraged the rural communities to organize village structures for effective communication in case of natural disasters. At least 20 people have been confirmed dead following an outbreak of cholera in the northern gas rich province of Cabo Delgado in Mozambique. The Mozambican health authorities are reported to have declared the outbreak in the three districts. The provincial director of health, Anastasia Limbida, said the outbreak began on islands of the Cabo Delgado coast where people have taken refuge in unsanitary conditions to flee from attacks by Islamist insurgents of the mainland. And in sports, Zimbabwe will begin its journey in pursuit of the African Nations Championships Chan title when they take on host Cameroon on the 4th of April this year. The fixtures have been finalized with the Warriors facing the indomitable Lions of Cameroon at the state Ahmed Ahidud Stadium, which is also the venue for the tournament tournament's final on the 25th of April. That's the news they too will be back with more news at the top of the hour. <laughs> Today's hits, tomorrow's legends. Music on the greatest station. Strap yourself in because we're set up, switched on, and ready to go. Power FM, Zimbabwe's number one music station. Zadaro, yo, Shadi, Jump Razor, yo, Mati. Everybody Everybody march out, march out, march out, everybody march out, get 
two o'clock the time right now oh i have to take a deep breath sure 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 smiley smiley's got energy you know if i was to compare you to any uh any dancehall musician or mangoma musician i would say elephant man that's yeah my elephant man. that's the energy god yeah man he's one of my inspirations as well yeah oh elephant man. man crazy crazy you got energy for days and even in this song <laughs> we can hear and my mom used to always say Ranzi, I'm like, go, go, go. you won't understand unless you are in the moment, in the moment. <laughs> you but what is that the, the whole way the, the hype that's why it's just something that to hype up the song all right you know I got it from Tony Mataran uh-huh. elephant man uh-huh. it's a style to hype up a song like Re- la- e- you know what I mean? It just adds that 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 punch to... Inika that. Yeah, inika that. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, uh, man. So to the older generation, it's very difficult for us to explain to you why it's Jina I just know what it's not going to be. Tino from Bari National saying shout out to Smiley. Uh, Smiley, uh, okay, this one we'll ask. This question we'll definitely ask. So early on, we were talking about uh, how you came on radio. You were given three hours and first two hours were pushing uh, local music, right? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, the last hour was for the international. So that's when a lot of these um, artists started coming through and then the new music stables were also coming through, the yeah, movements yeah. were coming through and then Zim Danso. So there was this debate and we ended up having to call you while you were in Dubai yeah, but you're here now. That, yeah. Zim Danso, you can get a copy? Uh, like copy as in where exactly yeah, like... Zim, Zim Danso, like which, who, who pushed it, who popularized it, who started it? Now everybody, I think some people 
had, everybody contributed in their own way. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people, like, like I always say that Zim Danso is a movement, not between one person, mm -hmm. but a lot of people contributed in their own ways. Mm -hmm. But if we talk about, like you were saying, like when I was in, when I was in England, I told you I was listening to the Sniper Storms and the Winky D's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they also contributed in pushing Zim Danso. Mm -hmm. But the name Zim Danso, for it to be known as it's known right now, mm -hmm. I think Power FM, the Ignition Party, played a very big role. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure everybody who was there at that time, who was listening at that time... Can appreciate Can that. appreciate and they can... Mm -hmm. They know they know exactly what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And then there was the other stations that came through also pushing the, the Zim Danso movement. Yeah. So I will say everybody played, contributed and played a part in in putting Zim Danso the way it is right now. Mm -hmm. So I can't just say one person is responsible for for starting Zim Danso. Mm -hmm. We can't do that. We can't say that. I'm going to ask you this because yeah. uh, you are really neutral by by fact of, you know, in the music industry, you've, you've, you have you've are taking a step back. So currently you can give us your own unbiased opinion. Okay. Is there a king of Zim Danso? A king of Zim Danso? Nah, 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 nah. Me, I can never, not even in Jamaica or in Zimbabwe, I can never say this person is the king of Danso. Because, mm -hmm. uh, let me say, let me say it like this. We can't say one artist, because every artist is different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Every artist is different. He can be a king of dance to someone or some, some group of fans, but he won't be a king of dance to other group of fans. Right. So I won't say there's a king of dance and who's there to vote to say <laughs> this is the king of dance -o. Right. What criteria you know was I mean? used to crown the well, king of dance Exactly. Because uh -huh. some people who call themselves the king of dance they're self-proclaimed. Mm -hmm. They just say, I'm the king of dance mm -hmm. And then they just build on that and just move on that. Mm -hmm. you no, know I mean, like, say, like Vibes Cartel, you can say, like, right now I'm the king of dance. So, yes, he does right. have a lot of hits, but not everybody share that same opinion. All right. Um, do you feel like dance or Zim dance or is a big is the biggest genre in Zimbabwe at the moment? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I definitely feel that. So I why? I definitely feel that. Yeah. So why why isn't it being uh why isn't it as in other other in other countries as other genres like you said Afro beats yeah. is ruling the roost in Dubai right now. And in a lot of African countries. Yeah. But why isn't Zim Danso, even though it's the biggest genre in Zimbabwe, isn't doing so well in other countries? My opinion on that one is that um, with Zim Danso, they're focused on mainly doing music for Zimbabwe. Right. And only for Zimbabweans. They're not looking at the bigger picture. Like, you know what I mean? Okay, do music for Africa, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can just add a little something. Afrobeats, I'll say it's big, because Afrobeats, we can understand some of the stuff. They, they they use their language, yes, but they put a bit of English there just so people can understand. Direction, the, the, direction, direction, G, yeah. Yeah. But Zim Danso is mainly, I think most artists in Zim Danso are doing it for Zimbabweans and for Munom Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. And then there's a few that are doing it like internationally. I can name a few artists who, who are trying to cross that, bo that, bo that boundary and that border. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'll talk about people like, oh, Nati O, yes, Nati O is being recognized now. Mm -hmm. People like um, Pop Tien. Pop Tien is also doing good. Mm -hmm. uh, is he yeah. being recognized? Do they know him in Dubai? Yeah, in Dubai they know him. But Enzo Aisha, Enzo Aisha is actually doing very well in Dubai because mm -hmm. of his song, eh, Uku, Uku, Uku. They don't know what it means. But they know, so that, they know, that, but so they know when that tune plays. They wow. know it's about shoes. shoes. They take off their shoes. I see like local local youths taking off their shoes, showing right. off their shoes. They don't know what it means, but because we play the we play the screen, we play the music on like, on like big screen. Uh -huh. So while we play the music, we also play the video. Uh -huh. So now they know oh, this this song is about the shoe and the way I advertise wow, it and the way I big. promote it. That's big. I tell them, yo yo, if your shoes are up to date, yo yo, this shoe, this song is all about the shoes until right. they got used to it. Uh -huh. So that's the main thing we do, like. Just try to push our local music. The main thing we do is like play it as much as often, mm -hmm. and I try to explain what this song means on stage mm -hmm. if they don't understand. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. You left radio in 2015, yeah. and uh, yeah. there has been a question that has been coming up right here. Would you come back to radio? Yeah, definitely. I love radio. Radio is my radio is my thing. You know, mm -hmm. I love radio. I would love to come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. It'll get me a few, like probably a month, just to get back on that on that level. Yeah, right. just to 
Yeah, Did you man. think it would take you a month or it would take you... Are you saying to acclimatize in the studio and learn your way around the studio or for you to get the fame? Because uh, looking at social media and even when we posted no. the flyer, a lot of people are like, smiley, <laughs> you know? No, not, not the fame actually, but just to, familiar, for, just to get familiar with the studio and... Mm -hmm. Get back to that level I was on, just that that hype when I'm in the studio and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, just about a month I'll be back on the roll. You do your thing. Yeah, man. All right. Someone asked me, Lanzi, in Bopas, my Lamborwa disc, like he said, he needs to understand himself. <laughs> I haven't done it in a while, but I can still do it. <laughs> so, so we should be keeping our eyes and ears open. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Something could be coming. You might get a surprise, so you never know. <laughs> <laughs> we got our fingers crossed for that one. All right, so someone asked us on WhatsApp, Anzi Smiley, who, are, who do you rate as your top five Zim Dancer artists? Top five, do they have to be in order? It doesn't, not in any order, because that one is very tricky. Even yeah, I struggle yeah, yeah. with that. No, no, I can't. I, can't. <laughs> I can tell you, like, the five artists that I like who are, who are doing quite well to me, mm -hmm. but they won't be in order. So don't say you said this this no, artist no, first. No, no, no. This artist second and stuff. Right. All right. So this is my five. <clears throat> <laughs> the artists themselves are watching. <laughs> and they're listening. Mm. Who's he going to mention? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I think I need to think about that. But should I just say you it? You need to think about it. I have to think about it, though. All right. I have to think about it, though. Okay. Uh, Smiley, where do you think the the youths are going wrong in, in terms of uh, signing off their lives or selling their souls to the so-called Mbadas who come through and promise uh, wonders to them? And I'm asking you this because of where you have been all mm. along. Now, sometimes sometimes we think they're going wrong, but maybe they, they got their own vision and own views, you know what I mean? Because... Mm -hmm. Sometimes you do need sponsorship to get where you are, you mm -hmm. get where you want to be in the in the industry. Mm -hmm. So if someone comes to you and says, "Okay, look, you want to do you want to do five videos? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll help you do five videos." But then I know it comes with a with a price and stuff. But those five videos are going to get him to a a, a next level and a mm -hmm. next step. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's got plans that he wants to do. But some who just go senseless, who, who don't have the who don't even know why they're doing it. And then they're just doing it for like, um, I don't know, maybe just for the temporary fame. Mm -hmm. you, you have to know what you're doing. If you're going to do that and go sign it. It must have it. a plan. It must have a plan. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It must have but, a plan. But who's going to teach them the plan, Smiley? Because most of these youths are, to be very honest, are uneducated. Well, not uneducated, exactly. but can I even, let's say, standard O level, and mm. they drop out of school. Yeah. And then they, they end up meeting with these people. So Anna, even that skill, you're going to this deal might, mm. be, might be wrong for me. So that's what I'm asking. Where do you think they're going wrong? Is it just the temporary fame or what? The temporary fame. The the money aspect just for that temporary money aspect that you get money for just for that temporary the temporary fame like you said mm -hmm. and also mentorship youth right. need mentorship right. you know what I mean you and need it's someone exacting you need someone you can look up to who can lead you in the right direction mm -hmm. and these days like in terms of like managers these youths are getting like someone can I show my on Facebook or are you we are we a manager mm -hmm. and he doesn't even know nothing about the music. Mm -hmm. So you need someone who's got a musical background. I know Zivo a, bit, a, li a little bit about the music. Mm -hmm. How to also push you and branding and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In, in terms of management, as, for, as long as you've been in the industry, who do you think has managed to manage an artist very well in, in, in Zim Dancehall? I would actually rate in our real life, I, I'll rate Mr. Banda. He's doing very, a very good job with Winky D mm -hmm. in terms of branding and just keeping him out of like um out of the negative negative energy negative vibes like you know he's very protective of he's the very artist. protective of the artist right. and like if anything happens like the winky d has like a story going on winky d doesn't speak for himself right mr banda comes in and says no speaking on behalf of our artists <laughs> this is what's going on yeah you know what i mean mm -hmm. but some artists will be like hey, why, do, 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 in a life you know what i mean <laughs> yeah an artist should protect i mean a manager should protect the artist's right. image uh -huh. so that's what i think you need a good manager you need a mentor right and someone who's who wants to protect you uh -huh. and your image uh -huh. and your career uh -huh. you know what i mean not just doing it for his own benefits not just doing it for we are all gonna tend to go simbisana and stuff uh -huh. like that if you're going to be doing it, you have to be doing it like full on. 
you spoke of mentorship and yeah. you smiley and i keep saying you've been around for a long time yeah, because you have the experience but in terms of mentorship what do you plan on doing do you plan on just being smiley with the guy the mc smiley who's done a lot for zim dancehall music but not given back uh to the zim dancehall community i have to give back to the zim dancehall community. what is your plan i have to give back like i'm also trying to do like a, i was actually planning um there was a time one of the one of someone from dubai one of the bosses there was like smiley do you have any plan for zimbabwe and stuff like that mm -hmm. i've always wanted to open like a a school or something just to teach the youths who wants to be an mc those who want to be djs those who, who love the career but they don't know how to get into it mm -hmm. like a small school like a musical school mm -hmm. i don't know if that's been doing is that's been done here in zimbabwe no it hasn't actually you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i've been thinking about doing something like that just to teach the youths if i can get like a good dj some some youths like okay they want to do djing mm -hmm. get like a good dj yo come come can you can you do a class for these youths mm -hmm. five five youths or ten youths who want to learn how to dj can you do a class and they can you help you help me teach these youths mm -hmm. some want to be mcs i probably I inspire some of them come i'll teach you how to do it mm -hmm. some want to be artists some want to be producers mm -hmm. we need like a musical school like that i'd love to do something like that a wow. school just to teach the youths them to lead them in so the right way. So that's a plan for you, definitely. Yeah, that's one of the plans for me, definitely. All right. Yeah. And uh, you have also, uh, you have a re close relationship with Merciless. What's going on with you and Merciless? Yeah, man, Merciless, I'm my youth, man. Merciless, definitely, I'm my youth. Mm -hmm. Merciless. Where did Merciless come from? My because apprentice, we just saw him one day eh? here at work and we're like, they're like, this is Merciless, he's going to be doing the dancehall show. And we're like, yeah. where did this guy come from? <laughs> Wait, Merciless, Merciless is like my apprentice, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, because Merciless came the days when I was Legendary Sound days. Right. Legendary Sound days, because I used to be the only MC in Legendary Sound. Mm -hmm. So Batman's like, yo, you know what? You need to teach one MC who can start the dance, and then you you continue after. Mm -hmm. And then Merciless, I liked his vibe, and I could see he loved to do it. Mm -hmm. He so had the fire. He had the fire. Right. He had the energy. The first days, he was a bit shy. But I could see Wait, he, had the, he had the energy. Who? <laughs> who, who's shy? Merciless? Oh, not anymore. <laughs> Barnabas, you think Merciless is shy? <laughs> All right, he was a bit shy in the first day. Them days, yeah, yeah. So uh, I had to, like, I was helping him just get into his, get out of his shell, mm -hmm. taking, we were going, we used to go on tours together. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, Merciless, you start, start to hype up the crowd and then I'll continue, I'll hype up the crowd and I'll continue. So mm -hmm. I used to teach him everything I could teach him about the game and about how to entertain the crowd but the rest he, or he naturally had it by himself mm -hmm. he had the energy by himself so i just added a few things right yeah so when you left radio there was mm. a gap there was no dance or show that was really happening and moving up yeah. and then he came through did you did you guys talk, have a conversation about this when he said he's coming through yeah he told me he's coming through and i was like yeah man go for it man if you need any help because those days i think i was i was actually focused on other things them days mm -hmm. yeah so I was like, you know what, if you need anything, just let me know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you need, and I actually gave him a few pointers. I was like, you know what, if you need anything, do like this, do like this, do like this. I actually listened to his show a few times, mm -hmm. gave him a few pointers. Mm -hmm. and I was like, you know what, do what, do this. And now he's doing it good, man. When you see Merciless on stage, he yeah. is like uh, Smiley 2.0. Mm. He's, 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 he embodies what you used to do on stage, but in his own way. Yeah, he's not yeah. a copycat. He's not a copycat. Definitely. What do you What do you think when you look at him on stage? I'm very proud. I'm very proud because I've been thinking like, you know what? He's I. I'm actually proud to see where he's where he's at now. Mm -hmm. Like from when where, where we started. Mm -hmm. I'm actually proud to see where he's at now. Mm -hmm. So merciless when when I see with the energy on stage, even when he when he came to Dubai, he impressed me so much. I was like, yeah, man. He can handle a crowd. That's my youth. Yeah, man. He That's can, my youth. Right he there. can handle a crowd. He makes me proud, man. Mm -hmm. In our real life. And and you, yeah, you, you, I can tell you speaking from within that you are from genuinely within, proud, genuinely. proud of him. You're smiling yeah, when you when you yeah, you're smiley smiling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so he's he's got his radio show. He's also doing it big. Mm. What are, what are the mistakes? I, I've I've also known uh, heard that you're very protective of merciless. Yeah, man. So what are the mistakes that you have made in your career that you can be very honest with us that this is what I made and I'm also very strict with um one mistake i i would say i made is just to follow the hype don't don't follow the hype too, the too wind, much yeah, mm -hmm. don't mm -hmm. you know what i mean if someone else is doing it like that 
doesn't mean you have to do it like that. Mm-hmm. Just have your own different thing, mm-hmm. and then just don't follow the hype that you end up losing, losing yourself. like yourself mm-hmm. with the hype and the fame and stuff. Because the fame can get to you. Trust me, the fame can get to you. The ladies can get to you. So just focus on what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Focus on what you're doing, hundred percent, and get where you want to go. Set your goals, and then go towards them goals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So, so you you say the fame can get to you. It did. It did it get to you, Smiley? There's a part. There's a time it did get to me. How? Because I didn't expect. It came to me like quick and fast. I mm. didn't expect it. You know what I mean? Mm. Like um, the crowd does like uh, screaming. Oh, Smiley, 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 Smiley. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> First days I used to. I used to. Like, <laughs> but now you know, as mm. time goes on, you end up getting used to it. Uh huh. And probably yeah, as, as time goes on, you end up getting used to it. But it, right. it usually happens the first days, the first like first few months and mm-hmm. first few stages of your popularity. Mm-hmm. That's when it starts. That's when it happens. Fire, uh, Fire DJ Don Family says Rasta are very very humble and talking sense all the time. Big up to you, uh, Smiley. Represent Fire DJ. Haley T says thank you so much for grooming Merciless. We love him so much. Uh, so much love is coming to you on WhatsApp, uh, on social. Sorry, on uh, Facebook. Uh, let's see. Zero seven one two eight three one one seven two. Edwin, I think you joined the conversation very late because he actually did. Speak speak about potato uh this guy was saying that can we talk of zim dancer without mentioning potato i think you did touch on potato we we can't do that yeah we can't do that potato i'm an elder bigger potato anyway you did (laughs) uh pozo vibes in dubai says smiley do you have plans of opening a recording studio in emirates for mainly talented zimbabweans and other nationalities as a whole we were actually My guy, you're blessed, you know. <laughs> we were actually doing that. I think about last week, we were mm-hmm. actually looking at a place with me and my, my younger brother. We actually saw a place. Mm-hmm. It's very nice. We're like, uh, I've got a few I've got a few studio equipment back there in Dubai. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to open up a, a nice studio. Not so big, but mm-hmm. just a small one just to help up the youth then because there's a lot of youth out there in Dubai mm-hmm. that don't have recording studios or anywhere to express themselves, especially mm-hmm. Zimbabweans. It's usually I only know about four studios in Dubai, and most of them concentrate on Afro beats only. Right. Yeah, it's mostly Afro beats. Mm-hmm. So I know there's a lot of dancer artists, there's a lot of hip hop artists in Dubai that have approached me as well. Mm-hmm. So hopefully, in a month or so, mm-hmm. we we'll have the studio set up. So anybody, even artists that will come to Dubai on tour and stuff, mm-hmm. you can invite them to the studio, link them up with because a lot of a lot of um, Afrobeats artists who also come to Dubai. Mm-hmm. You can link them up and then they can start That's your plan. You yeah. want to do you want to yeah. link up with international artists. International or... artists even You met Joe yeah, Boy man. and yeah, I was man. devastated. Oh Joe Boy, I'm I like Joe Boy. But Joe Boy is so humble, he's cool, you know. Really? Joe Boy is so cool, man. We can even you can even call him up, talk to him, he's so cool. <sighs> Call him for me. <laughs> I just, I just want to say hi. You like Joe Boy? Okay. I don't cool. like Joe Boy. I love Joe you Boy. You love him. This is not about me. Anyway, four nine eight six five two and four nine eight six five four. Uh, give us a call right now. Get to speak to MC Smiley. Ask him any question that you want to ask him. Uh, ask him uh, about dancehall music, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Four nine eight six five two and four nine eight six five four. Power FM hello. Okay, nobody there. Power FM hello. Wagwan. <laughs> Oh, she just wanted to say, oh, sad, oh, oh. I don't want to sleep in a joke for Nera, don't worry. Power FM, hello? 4986521, and 4986524, Power FM, hello? All right, uh, get in touch with us, you guys. Smiley is here. Uh, welcome back, Smiley. I remember the first time I saw you was at a concert that happened in Cleveland. Oh, my gosh, you were so energetic. It's Lolo. Wagwan Lolo, bless up. All right. Uh, Sadaro, oh my gosh. Anzi, Ndafane Kutamba, I had missed that song. Smiley is crazy and I love him so much. It's Patience Manamo, Kogo Club. Power FM, hello? Hello. Yes, hi. What's your name and where are you calling from? Large man, my name is Smiley. All right, go ahead. Wagwan, my king. Yes, my Smiley, Wagwan day. Everything turn up. Long time without seeing you here, you man. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Me day now. So, Wagwan, we do. What do you do me right now? Right now, me based in Dubai, but yeah, right, yeah, 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 man. Long time without seeing you, loud on right here to you, man. Yeah, man, but me back now, me back for a few weeks, so yeah, we might we get to link up, yeah. We are, we are happy to hear you are right now. We are in Zimbabwe. Yeah, man, yeah, man, me there. Yeah, greetings to you, man. Yeah, me I go do a show very soon. I'll let you know about it, and then you can probably come through and check it out, yeah. Where exactly? I'll let you know. Check out, check me out on my social media page, and you'll get all the information there. Yeah, man. You are the Zim Danso. 
You are the creator of the Zim Dance, oh man. Blessed, blessed. Zim Dance out to the world. Yeah, Baba, Baba. Oh, really? yeah man. <laughs> That's right. All right, thank you so much Respect. for calling. Power FM, hello? 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 Yes, hi. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yes, I'm Curry from Greenfoot. What's your name? Courage. All right, Courage, speak to Smiley. Yes, uh, hi, DJ Smiley. Wa go on, Courage, wa am? I'm great, and you? Me cool, man, me cool. A long time. Yeah, man, it's been a while, eh? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, man, but me back now, me back now, same way. Yeah, yeah, sure. All uh, right. Yeah, I, I just want to ask something. Yeah, man. Yes, I'm a music manager of uh, another artist. So I just want to know what 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 can I do to to establish my art? I think his question is, what can he do to establish his artist so that he can be known in Dubai? Is that what you want to say? Known in Dubai or known here yes. in Zimbabwe? Yes, yes, yes. yes. N known way? Mudata Ziganwe Kupi. Sorry? Where do you want your artist to be known? Here in Zimbabwe or in Dubai? Yes, internationally. All right, there we go. Internationally? Yes. Yeah, man, I, I, I can help you a little bit with that, you know. Just give me the artist details and songs and I'll, I'll help you push the artist for you, yeah? Okay, so how can, how can I get in touch with you? Uh, link me up on... I think I should be giving you my details. At the end of the show, I'll be, I'll be giving my details so you can link me up on my, on my okay, social okay, media okay. and thing. And I'll also leave my phone number, right? Okay, okay, thank you. All right, cool, my king. All right, 498-652 and 498-654, Power FM, hello? Hi, Shambhavi. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Titi Shabeta calling from Gwara. Titi, he speak to Smiley. Hi, Smiley. What's up, Titi? How you doing? I'm good. Hey, man. I only want a freestyle from you. You want a freestyle? Yeah. Do you do freestyle, <laughs> I can pick up. I can pick up something. Really? Now, <laughs> yeah, now yeah. you're giving me pressure. I, I, I wasn't prepared for this, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, I will find something for him. Uh, someone says, Smiley, oh, we're still waiting for your top five. This is Tawanda Kampira. Ah, to other top five for weed, that's for sure. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, top five Zimdo. And in no particular order. All right, cool, cool. All right, definitely I have to put in... Now, Winky D definitely there because I've been a fan of his since long time. Mm -hmm. um, I like Enzo. Enzo's doing his thing, so big up Enzo. Mm -hmm. um, All-time favorite are Dadza D. Respect Dadza. Dadza is yeah, amazing. man, all time favorite, all time so favorite. So we're on three now. And then, um, strictly Zim dancer, you're gonna have to come my helmet footage, you know it. Sorry, my helmet. What are my helmet? Oh, I'll explain that. <laughs> Charlotte, do you know my helmet? Okay, it's as long uh, as Charlotte doesn't know, it's okay. It's, it's, because Charlotte knows these things. All right, all right. So this is Zim dancer still, yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Um, whoever now mentioned. I like Jam Master. Jam Master cracks me up. I like Jam Master as well. Jam right. Master's doing his thing. Mm -hmm. And then we got, um, I'm on four now. Mm -hmm. One more. Mm -hmm. This is nothing personal. Those that haven't been mentioned, please, Musa Zodi, hey, smiley, why, hey, chi, chi. Like, ah, uh, colors, footy, ah, uh, colors, ah, uh, colors are, uh, Colors is really trying to, to get the, the youth. Colors. Hey, a free we, man I, as well. Oh, my guy, I, six, I think I got more, seven, man. I got more than five, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to ten. We're at six. Ten, yeah, uh -huh. six. I told, I mentioned free man, yeah? yeah. And Did so Say colors, mm -hmm. okay. Bazooka there as well. So that's seven. Pop ten. Pop ten is amazing. Eight. Natio. Nine. E, you're gonna get in trouble on on Facebook because they were they were mentioning <laughs> Natio on Facebook. Okay. We got one more. And then one more. Mm -hmm. One more. 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 Ah, uh, one more. I have to put in. Gatsby Warrior. Gatsby Warrior. Yeah, man. Gatsby Warrior as well. All One right. of my all-time favorites. For those I didn't mention, it don't mean that I forgot about you, but the list is just small, man. Yes, and the it's, list is uh, endless. We limited it, yeah. Yeah, we, we limited the list, but... <laughs> All right. Uh, Anton does receive out on Gaiti 5 chat. This is Tawanda Computer. He's back again. <laughs> uh, what is my helmet? My helmet? Mm. Oh, it's another style of dancehall, but um, it's kind of like the hardcore. Mm -hmm. And most of the artists, when I'm by my own mate, they don't sing like in Shona, they sing like international. But it's more hardcore. Cool. And I, the people like Dashoka, do you know Dashoka? Yes, I've heard of Dashoka. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. People like Dashoka. Mm -hmm. And even Bounty Lisa's doing that stuff now, that, that style now, mm -hmm. helmet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should, you should get into it. It's nice. It's, it's gaining popularity. 
I need guidance, crazy. please. It's uh, hardcore, it's like those. <laughs> Lead me, you're yeah, my father. <laughs> Power from below, 49865 and 49864. We got Smiley upon the case, so please get in mm. touch and uh, ask him anything, say what you want to say to him. We're closing off the show in the next five minutes, so get in touch right now. Power from below. Hello. Hi, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Rujeka. I'm calling from Stanley. Rujeka. Yeah. All right. I'm going to smile. I'm going to smile. All right, that's what she wanted to say. Sadaro Rujeko, big up. Also, we have a show. Smiley's got a show. He's going to let us know uh, just before he goes. Power FM, hello? Hello? Hello. Uh, yes, hi. hi. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, my name is Tim Vegas. Your name is? You said your name is? King Vegas. King Vegas, speak to Smiley. Smiley? Yeah, man, what one King Vegas? I'm later, later, bro. How's it? Everything nice, man. Ah, that's okay. I'm not going to get it. 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 I'm not going to Hello? Yes, hi. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is MCK Chisuetota Hopi. All right. Speak to Smiley. What's up, Dan Dada? What's up, MC? I'm blessed than ever. You're cool. How's Hopi, yeah, my guy? I'm loud and cool that you have begged me, Dan Dada. Bless up, bless up, man. It's good it's to be back, trust me. Work. It's good to be back. We miss Zimbabwe and we miss everything, you know. Yeah, man. Welcome to Sweet Home, Zimbabwe. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah, man, put you on your Facebook page so that you could have pushed up the art you say here. Yeah, man, cool, man, cool, man. I love you to the boy. Bless up, bless up. Smiley, Too much love. Smiley, the, rela the reality is you can only do so much to push the artist uh, yeah. in, in Dubai. But what do you feel like in the UAE? What do you feel like them, the artists themselves, need to do? Especially the upcoming ones who don't have the big management that, like you mentioned, Goody Banda yeah. is really working hard yeah. and pushing. What do you feel they need to do in order to be known? Social media is playing a big part in the UAE. Mm -hmm. Social media, definitely. Y'all need to get on that social media, get on those um, those YouTube. If you can do a YouTube thing, mm -hmm. get on YouTube. If you can do, um, what's it, what's it, Facebook Lives and stuff, mm -hmm. and push your stuff At on your Facebook. Shows and yeah, stuff. man, Instagram, right. anything. Anything you can do just to put your content up there because... It's all about social media mostly in mm -hmm. the UAE. Mm -hmm. People want to see what's going on, what's going on in Zimbabwe, what's going on on YouTube and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they love to see and check on Africa and see what's going on in Africa. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah. 498652 and 498654. Power FM, hello? Wagwan, master. Yeah, man. Me king. What? Um, me love you so much. Me miss you very, very much. Please. <laughs> Respect. Just do, just do a show with Messi Lassie. Yeah, man, yeah, man, definitely. Me, I talk to me, I talk to Messi Lassie and see what we can do. Thank you, peace out. Man. Yeah, man, bless up, my king. Boss ladies listening. Yeah, tell me. Power FM, hello? All right, nobody there. 498652 and 54. We got two minutes to go. You guys get in touch. Uh, this is your chance to speak to Smiley. He is in Zimbabwe. When did you land? Um, I landed last night. And this is the first interview he last has night. given. Yeah, man. First interview, first interview. Yes, he's back home. Yeah, back man, home. Power FM, hello. Hello? Hello? This must be an international call. Oh, no, it's cut. Power FM, hello? Hello, Jambari. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. What's your name? I'm Sibela in Rusinga. Sibela, Taurana, na, na Smiley. Yes, Sadaru. What did you say? Did you say? Ah, did you say? I say my levels. Ah, my levels. Oh. Murugu na kwa na yoga zim danceo i. Ah, zim danceo to the fullest. To the fullest, to the world. Oh. <laughs> and then she's gone. Last caller, Power FM. Hello. Hello, Chambara. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And how are you? Moshe, the Baba Tinashe. Tora ina smiley. Smiley, how are you? And they're Baba Tinashe. She's fine. Yeah, man. Hi, smiley, what do you think about those artists? We didn't dance over no imbas. We think that they're like we are not sure or so. 
Oh, What's your message to them? My message to them is, you know, the nan go to area, you go to, sometimes it's all about guidance. Ne ongo dragis go, go araga naga onzo avana ongo itai so, so. I won't lie, sometimes the music does sound good and one no target to a certain, a certain market, market right. yeah, a certain market. You know, you know, you know, you know, certain market, but I have a guru and watch all agenda now, so they need to tone down on the content as well. When you say, would you like to mention names of who you think? Uh, good long way you could have, but, but singa, they'll think it, yeah, they'll think it's kind of offensive, but all right, where'd you find out they like that because oh, you talk about the audience, oh, I thought the you meant the artist, yeah, 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 no, right. no, the audience, the audience, when watch they can't, they can't listen to this. Is the argument so, that has been presented though when it mm. comes to cleaning up the music? They say the artists themselves, I've asked them when they've come here, they mm. said that listen, when I'm doing music, clean music, clean music is for you to listen to with your family, for example, Kanjiva, Kanjiva yeah. is to listen to, to your family, yeah. with your family, with the kids, that's why. Yeah. The kids love those songs, but then there's songs like Magate, Biza, Rino Dam Tashi, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Those ones you cannot be seen playing it. So, do you agree with that notion that it's, it's the, the, that music is for a certain yeah, it's for a certain it's for a certain crowd, and not place. for every yeah, crowd in place, definitely. Uh huh, because we cannot write it off completely because music I don't know like it's all so sure yes some of the some of the songs are catchy some of the songs are like, hey, should we show to, to show right ah, we can't we can't we can't <laughs> funny music because it's all music but do you feel yeah. like music might need to get cleaned up um to a certain extent but they're not going so i don't think they're going so hard mm -hmm. yeah yeah because i think they're doing it in other countries yeah they do it they've got like the the songs that are singing to all grids are in front on of radio, people yeah. on radio. Uh -huh. That's why they got two versions of the song, a censored version mm -hmm. and a, a version that's not censored. All right. Yeah, so it depends on who's listening to the music mm -hmm. and who they're targeting. I think that's what I think for the artist them. All right. So yeah. we are done. Uh Anzi Panamesle Smiley Waga Gadirako Bomba Waga Gono Gruma Mfana. Yeah man. So there we go. Uh thank you so much to Smiley for coming through and thank you so much to everybody that has been showing him so much love. Smiley is round around for a couple of uh days or weeks. Yeah man. And uh as for the radio show, Anzi, watch the space. They will definitely let you know we'll let you know if anything comes up definitely <laughs> and uh, you said something about a big show because a lot of people are asking to do they want to show you yeah, what's, man, what's we got a big show i think it's happening on this friday this friday today is tuesday right yeah <laughs> yes, friday <laughs> we'll forgive you it's I, got, lag. I got more people coming through from from dubai or coming to join me this side so we're gonna have a one big party so it's gonna be crazy i'm calling everybody for link up for uh -huh. more details Check me up on my social media. Mm -hmm. It's MC Smiley on Facebook, at MC Smiley on Instagram. And then I'll be posting and letting you know everything about that show. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it's going to be mad. Mm -hmm. Different type of thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, we come with some new style and some new chance. I check my gates. I'll get my food. Ah, I'll get my Ah, I'll get my But with Sadaro, will still be there? Sadaro, will still there. All right. Ne put it on speaker. Hey. <laughs> as long as those two are there, we'll be okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, man. If people want to get in touch with you, do you have a WhatsApp number that you can share with I've people? I've got a WhatsApp number. Wait, let me get my pen because we need to write this down. People always hit me up like, Chambaya, we yeah, didn't get man. that number. All right. What happened to my book? Can I have oh, my yeah. book? Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. What's that number? Plus two seven. Plus two seven. Six one. Six one. Seven two two. Seven two two. Zero one eight six. Zero one eight six. Yeah, man. That's my WhatsApp number. You can link me up there. So check my statuses and everything. Mm -hmm. If you want to send me a message, feel free. I'll let you know. If you want information about the show happening soon, mm -hmm. I'll let you know everything. Plus two seven. Yeah, six, six one, one seven. seven two two mm -hmm. zero one mm -hmm. eight six. All right. Yeah. And uh, in terms of artists that want to give you their music, so you can push also there. Yeah, you, they can link me up on that number as well. All right. Yeah, man, link me up on that number while I'm here in Zimbabwe. Uh, link me up anytime, man. All right. Definitely. And uh, also some questions that have come through: Is Smiley single? Because <laughs> we do need have a daughter, but Anzi nah, Smiley I'm Alpha. Not single, sorry. You're not single. <laughs> I'm not single. Uh, I'm married to the king. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so ooh, the heart emojis are coming through. Like, yay! He's married to the game, okay? So you have to be someone who's willing to support that journey. Yeah, good smiley, hasi, walk away, gandu, industry. However, mm. 
smile amu numkuru ano ano shizia kuti mm. Eh, married to the game as really, yeah. married to everyone, and it, <laughs> and it is. It's okay. Oh, the ladies are saying it's okay. Smiley, thank you so much for coming through. Thank and you so much for having I'm me. I'm humbled. Thank you so much, Ambar. You know you're my sister, and anything for you. Yes. Yeah, man. Uh, before you go, can you just do Usadaro? Uh, wait, let me let me reduce the mic volume because it's loud. Do Usadaro for us real quickly before you go. All right. Without God, we're nothing, and we're nothing without God. So in the name of the Most High, me want to say thank you, and me gone. Sadaro, put it, put it, put it on speaker. Worry God, front and levers, same grace. This a ganja party, this. And the best of your game. Ah, smiling man, the case again. Yo, Slim J, a ganja time again. Give me a lighter, let me cool down my brain too much pressure. We iron I come from, yeah, we iron I come from, yeah. Pass me a Rizla, give me a lighter.